Okay, Matt. Uh, so you're asking, uh, am I buying the dip here in anticipation for the Wix? That that is a very good question, and that's kind of what I've been watching. Um, you know, waves obviously has been beat down uh, pretty massively, and it's not always the smartest idea to be buying. What is that? Sixty-eight percent to be buying the slowest horse, and this is actually one of the slowest horses. So um, there is slight concerns with it. Right, but I would I would be happy with a move back up to here, right? Some somewhere there, I, I'd be happy with that, and then then assess the market if we could get that bounce, and that's what I've been kind of wanting out of this. I mean, that's a 40, 50 percent bounce. It's fantastic. Um, so that that at this point, that's all I want, and if the market ends up turning good uh, in that process, maybe it can go a lot higher. Who knows? Um, I I'm not the Biggest fan of this sort of candle, right? See this big rejection candle, but at the same time, this could um, this dip into the wicks that you just talked about could potentially hold, and we would not uh, go below this. We might not, but go below the previous wick. So it's an interesting situation. Uh, I have just added a very another small bit of um, of this, just building that position. If we if we if we do dip down and actually take out these lows, then I will add a, another little bit and, and just build that because at some point we should bounce back up. I mean, the worry is that for some odd crazy reason there is no bounce, which is very very unusual. It would then mean you'd have to hold for a few months, which which obviously really sucks. Uh, I don't really like doing that, and I don't really have any intention of doing that. I, I really want to see some strength. But to be buying after a 70% drop, you you really would expect some sort of bounce. Like it, it's crazy here today again on futures waves is again now the second lowest coin. You can see down. Uh, let me let me rephrase that. Yeah, second lowest coin down here. I'm not sure why this waves is in here. That shouldn't be in there. Um, so it, it's obviously pretty weak, but if somehow the market can actually start to bounce this month and have a, some sort of bounce and retrace, um, there definitely could be some good returns on this. So I, I'm not saying to empty your account in here, but having a small spot position seems to be uh, a fairly normal and logical thing to do. Now, if I, if I show you XRP here, now, it, it is different. This XRP example is different because price actually broke down below the red 200. Now, this reminds me of XVS. XVS has done this where it's crashed right down below the, the red 200. Okay, so I'm just going to show you that XVS example as well. Um, but like X, XVS is down here, and in theory, it should consolidate for a, a decent period of time before barting back to the upside okay so I, I just want to put that out there now that now that it's, it's here and it looks similar to XRP um, but again you know this in time should have a bounce back up right it, it really really should and it really sucks kind of buying in these situations when you need patience and you're buying you're waiting for this bottoming process to finish to get that bounce um, but sometimes these can actually be the best and easiest money you can make if it plays out of course so it's it's a little frustrating holding this at the moment but um you know in theory there should be like even to the alarm is a 25 percent bounce from here right and then any, anywhere up there even to stop on uh this this level right here is a, is a, is a 35 percent bounce with patience in theory it should be easy money yeah, at least in theory. So we'll see how it plays out.